Hello, and welcome to Podcast, Podcast but, but Outside, Outside. episode 6-8. This is 68th episode. It is a very interesting episode. Uh, we had some soul-searching about our show recently. Thank you, Andrew. Yes, we figured that the two of us are pretty similar. We- yeah, we're both awesome. But we thought maybe we should get <laughs> the perspective of someone else. Um, our whole show is kind of about talking to different types of people and getting different perspectives. And we thought, well, why shouldn't there be a permanent fixture on the show who also has a different perspective? Mm-hmm. So we went to the place where perspectives are adv- as varied as they come, and that's cr- Craigslist. Craigslist. Craig made a list, and we took advantage of it. We checked it twice. And we posted a, um ad on there on Craigslist. I'll read it for you right now. The title of the ad is Digital Host Slash Correspondent Position Available. Well, just, just put this on. Hold on. <laughs> just put it on the screen when I'm reading it. Okay. The title of the ad says Digital Host Slash Correspondent Position Available. And there's a nice picture of a man um, doing a bit of a Zoom call. And it says, it's very vague. We wanted it to be intentionally very vague. We didn't want them to know exactly who we were. But we wanted to get a different type of person to be part of our show. So it says, hi, we are two hosts of a popular weekly talk show on YouTube. It's a bit of a lie there, popular. We are looking for a digital correspondent to bring a fresh perspective to the show. Are you an interesting person? Do you like talking and being heard? You might be a good fit for our show. We're going to hold interviews via Zoom sometime this week. Please send a photo and a couple sentences about yourself. If you're a potential fit, we'll send some time options for the interview. FYI, the interview process will be recorded as part of our show. Thanks in advance for your submission. And uh, we got a lot of submissions. We got like, I don't know, 50, oh. 50 or something. Really? Yeah, we got a lot. Wow. Um, and so in this episode, we're going to read through the emails that we received, mm-hmm. pick um, some people to have some Zoom calls with, and then you'll be able to see some of those calls. And I just want to say, the second half, the correspondence we interview in the second half of the show is not to be missed. Yeah. There are, I mean, there are gems all throughout. It gets more intense as it goes. But they are quite... Um, quite a spectacle, so definitely check out everything, but stick around for the end. And especially stay around, because we'll need your help at the end. Oh yeah, we need to vote. Um, uh, Don't vote. spoil. Okay. Also, we should note that the person we end up choosing to be correspondent, while they will be a permanent fixture of our show, that doesn't mean that they're going to be in every episode. It's just someone that we're going to check in on every couple weeks or a month or so. Also, also, there are a handful of some pretty odd submissions that we read through that got cut for time that will be on Patreon, along with an entire Craigslist audition that will also be on Patreon in the next few days. So it's a fun process. Uh, We're kind of doing these longer kind of in-depth episodes and we hope documentary you guys, style documentary style so sure we're the shane dawson's of podcast and that's a good thing right i don't have an opinion <laughs> but um, so you know if you want to help us out tell a friend about the show also if you subscribe to us on youtube subscribe to our podcast and vice versa if you're listening to the podcast subscribe to us on youtube having more downloads and listens on both platforms helps us uh, make money with the show and get ads and continue to be able to do this full time Yeah. Thanks, Andrew. Yeah. The theme song this week is by Allison Allison Young. Young. Uh, But you might consider her Allison Old with how awesome she is. Mm -hmm. She's yet, I guess, she's (laughs) yet another female PBO fan who plays plays the the saxophone. saxophone. So that's exciting for uh, the saxophone that um, gets to be played by her. Thanks, Andrew. Well, enjoy the episode. Oh boy. Okay, so we are back with results from our Craigslist posting, which cost ten dollars. Did you know that? Hmm. You owe me six dollars. That's not That's your half. Well your half. Okay. Up first we have someone named Aaron. We have not seen these. Correct. Hello. I'm responding to your Craigslist posting. I'm I'm Aaron Aaron Blank, Blank. and I could be a great addition to your team as I'm vibrant, bubbly, and as many tell me, inspiring. They They say say it, it, I'm I'm just just repeating. repeating. Generally, I'm into anything that has to do with the cultural zeitgeist, popular culture, internet culture. I scroll Twitter throughout the day, and I'm a finger on the pulse of all the trending topics as they happen. It's like, you send out your resume, and it's like, qualifications. I scroll Twitter throughout (laughs) the day. I'm opinionated, but fun, and I think overall I could be the breath of fresh air you're looking for. Ooh, let's smell her breath. Let's see what she's he's working with oh are these all videos these are videos one time dj Khaled performed at my birthday party 
Okay, so maybe I went to the club for my birthday and maybe DJ Khaled just happened to be there. It's win, 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 no matter what. I'm gonna talk about this book, The Keys by DJ Khaled. We the best. This is the book they don't want you to read. And I'm honestly, they don't want you to read this book. I like that she like happened to be recording while she was at brunch. Oh, like in the background of this thing? She is. She just looks like she's out to brunch with her yeah. girls. I do like her vibe. I, I gotta say, I, I would like to interview her so far. I mean, it's the first person we've talked to so sure. far, but I'm okay. interested. All right, let's do uh, Inger. Inger or Anger? Anger. Hi, I just saw your advert online. In which you were looking, looking for a digital correspondent to your talk show, and, and I am really interested in this job opportunity. opportunity. I, I have previous experiences working as a TV host in Europe, Europe an energetic slash outgoing personality, personality, great people skills, I can talk to pretty much everyone, and love voicing my opinion about different subjects. Please find pictures attached and my, my contact details below. Wow, oh, I that was a little a, creepy, right? I did a good job at guessing that. I don't know how to read, so that was... <laughs> I was spot on. I'm impressed with myself. There. You did a good job, but to me, the email read kind of creepy, right? Like mm, almost like like, like a, the like shining. Two people, yeah, 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 two people are reading it. It was so like it was, the shining. It gave me a bad yeah, vibe. It gave me a bad vibe. Yeah. So she's, I didn't like that double voice. I didn't like. I'm the, a little. No, I know. It's kind of pushing me away from her. So a I'm bit. a little bit pushed away. Oh, Britney Spears. <laughs> I gotta say. I like this woman. I do. I mean, she looks like Britney Spears, like TikTok Britney Spears. I mean, I love that she's Eastern European. I love that she's from Eastern Europe, it seems, right? Or no, she just said she works in Europe. I mean, her name is Eastern European. I got to say, the fact that she's European, I like that. I do. Is okay, it... so I'm going to star her as well. Here's an interesting one from Richard. Hello. I'm curious. What kind of topics does your show cover? Eh. You're if, done. You don't, if you don't already know. <laughs> from our very vague <laughs> posting, you don't get to do it. Nicole. Hello, I came across your post online looking for a digital host. I currently create, edit, and host my own digital platform, including YouTube channel she does have 42 subscribers which is good and there's a video it's 18 seconds this is learning about unique cultural and experience all right here we go hi i'm nikki on this channel i'm going to expose unique cultures and cool experiences from california and all around the world join me on my endeavors i mean she's a win for me <laughs> editing skills Perfect. She seems to be doing, she seems to have started a travel YouTube channel during the pandemic, which is, I think, <laughs> cool. Yeah, they've all been released in the last two months. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I like that scared. attitude. Nope. Nothing will stop her. Look, she's a yes for me. Tolly. Hope you are staying safe and healthy. You missed the hi there. Hi there. Hope you're staying safe and healthy during these times. My name is Tolly Blank. I am a freelance journalist looking for more work. Saw this recently. Posted on ad on Craigslist, wanted to work, blah, 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 blah. All right, here's Tolly's forwarded YouTube video. 19 views. Chatting with my friends, and it's 59 seconds. I'm interested in this video. Welcome to my set with all of my friends. Hi. Just kidding. We are in quarantine. This is Tolly in Southern California with a full face of makeup on and nowhere to go. I've realized what's essential and what's not essential. I am friends with everyone. Friends of friends of 20 plus years. I'm friends with pro athletes, friends with first responders. I'm friends with famous people. Being in LA for six and a half years, hey look, it was bound to happen. But hey, they're all my bestest of friends. I treat everyone equally. And why not follow along and watch me video chat my friends. I kind of think that's the best YouTube video I've ever seen. She knows famous people. Would she know John Hamm? <laughs> I mean, that video was so bizarre. It was a minute long. It has 23 views. Um, she's a no from me. Okay, I agree. <laughs> Greetings. Greetings. My name is Anthony. Nice to virtually meet you. Thank you for posting your clear request on Craigslist. It was clear and you spoke directly to me. And you is capitalized. He keeps capitalizing you. This is crazy. Right now, you probably want to know the answer to the question below. And then in big bold, what's, what's in, in it, it for, for you? you? This is like a formed email that he clearly sends to a lot of people. Interesting. I will work for you with the quote unquote long term because I am a multidimensional individual who wants to grow with your company. <laughs> okay. I will use my website CRM skills to manage and grow any website I am assigned to. <laughs> Does he know what this was for? <laughs> oh I would my. love him to be host. I'd love I'd love for, to see a video. Wait, hold on a second. Hold on. This gets even better. Personality, dependability. I'm a dependable character. Kindness. I do deeds without an expectation of anything in return empathy my character is empathetic in nature and relatable to the audience courage i always stand up for what i believe in integrity 
I practice self-control to make good decisions. Self-awareness. I have no qualms about who I am and what I want. Affable. I'm easy to talk to and always willing to listen to and get along well with others. My location. I'm, I'm local. local. Just, just 6.72 6. miles away. away. From where? <laughs> we never gave our address. <laughs> I gotta say, I love this guy. There's just more stuff, but then it says, P.S. When you look back over the memory of hiring me for this job, it will be the fueling pride from making the right decision and choosing me. What others have to say? Anthony offered a great service to me. He helped me navigate our customers' social media marketing needs and helped me create new sales strategies for us to find just who we needed to increase Q3 revenues. Gary Hand, co-owner, U.S. Alarms, Los Angeles, California, a company and person that does not exist. If there's anything we do need, though, it's Q3 revenue. We do need Q3 revenue. I think we should apply and ask if he's comfortable being on camera. Okay, I'll see. reply. Hold on. Hi, Anthony. Some cool stuff here. Are you comfortable being on camera? I mean, he's the most qualified person in it. It seems every, in every aspect of yeah. anything. Yeah, so I think we're going to, you know, put our heads together and look at all the options we have and email the people we want to talk to mm-hmm. and then set up a Zoom call and interview them one at a time. And again, this is going to be instantly for you, but for us, it's going to be a few brutal days. But for you, it'll be right now. Now. Hello, and we're back. It's been, uh, it's been a while. It's been, what, like a week or two for us? Uh-huh. But for them, it'll be right now. We already did it. Oh. I already snapped. Really? Uh-huh. Okay, so we have... You're um, right there. We, 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 we reached out to the Craigslist folks that we thought were the most interesting. We also reached out to two people who we've been in touch with in the past via Craigslist to be involved in our show in various capacities, which we'll just get into those later, I guess. But we're ready to find a correspondent. Yes. I'm very excited. Up first, interviewing for the position of the correspondent, we have Inger. She has previous experience working as a TV host in Europe. She has an energetic slash outgoing personality, great people skills. She can talk to pretty much everyone, and she loves voicing her opinion about different subjects. Hi, Inger. How are you? I'm good, thanks. I like that we both chose to be outside, you know, representing California. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, great for our show. Yeah. Uh, my yeah. name is my name is Andrew. This is Cole. Hello. Nice to meet you. I know you, you know nothing about us or our show. The, the post was very vague. <laughs> um, no, I mean, I feel like I get a, a gist of it, but obviously I don't know what you talk about, but it might be something different all the time, you know? <laughs> yeah, it, it is. That is a good example. And, um, and yeah. So are you in California right now? I am, yes. I'm in LA, um, but I've been a little bit everywhere, I guess, throughout my life. I'm originally from um, Amsterdam, the Netherlands. Okay. Um, and then when I got my green card, I moved to New York. And from New York, I moved to LA. Oh, and before that, I lived in London for several years. So I'm kind of cosmopolitan. <laughs> okay. So, um, cool. All right. And what are you, what are you passionate about? Um, it's several things I feel like. I'm very passionate about um, sort of things that are related to the entertainment industry, which is one of the reasons I moved to LA. Um, mm-hmm. I'm a huge movie fan. Um, I used to go all the time until, you know, the pandemic happens. And mm. now I guess I have to watch at home, which I've been doing. Um, and um, I feel like a lot of things related to pop culture, you know. Um, I watch a lot of e news and they have shows there where they just discuss things that happen in the media and they just have discussions about it so i felt mm. you might be doing a similar thing you know just yeah. talking about various subjects and um i always love to share my opinion about everything so i thought this would be perfect for me cool. um, and then i'm also quite like um a fashion person so i love style um i'm very into um vintage shopping you know thrift stores and um but i think a lot of things that um you know top topics that are out there on a daily basis i always sort of have you know like opinions on mm. so who, who, i just like to sort of yeah have discussions with people i guess <laughs> who are you who are you wearing right now um i am wearing today um top shop mm. which i don't know if you're familiar with but it's quite a popular brand in europe i'm familiar um, yeah so um i'm it's cosmopolitan too in, ah yeah you yeah. see yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, like, I wear everything, you know? I could be wearing something that costs, like, $5 in a thrift store mm. and be, like, very happy with it because I like wearing things that are unique, you know, that no one else has it. Like, um, and I'm very much, like, um, a retro person. I mm. like anything that is old and classic, which actually brings me to one other subject that I'm very passionate about, which is classic cars. 
Um, unfortunately, you don't have them here very much. But when I lived in London, um, it was a huge thing. You know, a lot of people there drive um, classic cars. Mm. And that's kind of like on my wish list. Um, if I win the lottery, I would buy a classic car. Mm. Do you have a car now? Um, I don't actually at the moment because I had Classic. one and it broke down <laughs> and then um, I had to replace it. But, you know, I have to kind of um, get this whole thing started again. I don't quite know what car I want. So at the moment, I'm just like Ubering or just walking. I live quite local in West Hollywood, so mm. I can walk to a lot of places. Um, we asked you to prepare a presentation on a topic of your choice. Did you, did you have anything in mind? Yes, um, I... Well, I had two things that I thought would be kind of fun and maybe current um, because I like both entertainment and, um, you know, and sort of fashion and style. Um, the Emmy nominations were just announced. Can I can I can I kind of okay. introduce you as, as though you're a correspondent, maybe? Yeah. OK. Yeah. OK. <laughs> and so maybe the, the Emmys are happening pretty soon. Right, Cole? I think so. According to what they said. Right. And are you excited about it? I mean, who knows if they're going to be virtual or in person, right? I don't. Is there anyone who does? Well, we have a chorus. We have our Emmys correspondent here to chat with us about what's going on with those freaking Emmys. Here's our ho here's our correspondent, Inger. Hi, guys. Nice to see you today. <laughs> it's sunny where you are, too, I see. Yeah. Yep. Are you on some sort of balcony or? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, okay. Well, um, obviously you want to know the latest about the Emmys. Yeah. Um, it's still not 100% confirmed whether it's going to be. I think it's literally, you know, everything's changing on a daily basis. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But let's say it's going to be an actual event. Um, today I was on Instagram and I came across a post from Jennifer Aniston and she was like, okay, I'm so happy with my nomination, but now I kind of have to figure out what kind of mask I'm going to wear. And yeah. I think yeah. this is going to be like this new trend, like our designers actually going to be designing masks for the Emmys, you know, mm. and pair it mm. with like a really nice red carpet dress. And then you're going to have all the stylists that need to shop for outfits and they need to be coming up with masks. Yeah. So I think that's going to be quite interesting to see. Or if it's maybe inside the house, then are people just going to dress up from, you know, only on the top? which is um, something that can sometimes be tricky if you post the camera, you know, not quite in the right angle, which yeah. I've seen with, you know, certain hosts on ABC News when they're like sitting in their boxer shorts and up they have like a very nice blazer. So um, this yeah. is something that I'm very interested in seeing. And um, yeah, I'm intrigued to, to see where this is going. Um, do you guys have any opinions on the subject? Yeah, yeah. I, like to see. I think I think the designer masks is an interesting thing that i'd like to see i'd like to see maybe a mask that says somebody's name on it or maybe it's a poster of the uh, oh, yeah. of the tv show that they're in right over their mouth yeah so they don't mm. even have to talk about yeah. it because it's right there mm -hmm. <laughs> i know but then what are you going to do if someone is actually going to interview you you know like well, are the yeah just going to have masks like right. are you going to remove it like, or maybe yeah maybe you have things. maybe you have a mask that says on it it says if I don't win the Emmy, I'm going to take this mask off and kill everyone with my breath. <laughs> yeah. It could be kind of interesting. Yeah, some sort of statement going. Yeah. I love that idea. Yeah. Political. Yeah. Wow. Well, obviously, I'm going to keep you up to date and yes. um, please, let please. you know about the latest developments and keep following it. So, yeah. yeah. Thank and, you, Inger. Yeah. And maybe as our show grows well, or something and you're our correspondent, maybe, you know, we could send you to the Emmys to report for us. Ooh. Absolutely. That I mean, I have a whole selection of masks already, obviously, in stylish mm -hmm. fashion. So oh, do you? I what? have a few that I could match. Yeah? Do you have a stylish <laughs> one with you right now? I do, actually. Let's Let see. Let me see if I can grab it here in my bag. And um, that was great, by the way. You combined entertainment and fashion. And? Yes, I do. And the pandemic. And also, yeah, in the pandemic. And then also, I kind love. of like to match my so i don't know if you can see i'm wearing kind of like a lilac top yes. yeah and later i have to go for like a social distance dinner so ah. i'm mm. gonna do it a little bit like this but you see it's Ooh. kind of lilac with flowers so beautiful yeah. it's very nice we love it sort of matching yes. yeah <laughs> well thank you so much for taking the time to chat with us today Inger. we really appreciate it yes you're, absolutely you too lovely. and um until next time yes is your hair always that tall by the way it's so cool <laughs> Yeah, I, um, well, as I said, I kind of like the retro look, so I always imagine myself living in the 30s, you know, where uh -huh. people have, like, big hair. Uh -huh. um, but sometimes I also wear it up in a bun, so 
a little bit of a combination of both, I guess. Okay, yeah. cool. <laughs> All right, Great. thanks, Inger. Thanks, okay. Inger. We appreciate it. Thanks for it. talking nice to us. See you. Bye bye. Okay, bye. See ya. <laughs> I love the angle she was doing with her face. With like this. Yeah. <laughs> her phone was like up against her right eye for like a lot of that. It was great. <laughs> it was so cool. Up next, this person I'm really excited about because when we did our live show, um, we put a word on Craigslist in January in LA asking for interesting people to be interviewed on our show. And it kind of came down to two people. One of them we did interview. The other one came very close but ended up not being the right fit. But we're here talking with her today. Hello. Elaine. 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 Your Hollywood reporter. Hey. How are you? <laughs> She's an award-winning actress. She's in the Guinness Book of Sports Records. She's been in four Mel Brooks movies. And I've been in touch with her since January. Everybody give it up for Elaine. Yay. Hi, Elaine. I'm so excited to finally get to see you guys and be on your show. I know. We're it's excited so happy. to have you. Definitely put a damper in things. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the world not as good as it was when we last spoke. No, and I thought 2020 was going to be a great year. Yeah. yeah. What's your favorite well, year? It's what's not your over yet. What's your favorite year of you've ever had? What's your favorite year? Mm, God, that was a great movie. Oh. My favorite year. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> Did you ever see it? <laughs> no. no. Oh my goodness, it was so great. Um, Mike Reskoff, I'll give you a little Hollywood inside okay, tip. Please. Mike Reskoff, who produced um, Young Frankenstein for Mel Brooks, mm-hmm. um, produced that movie. And although someone else has it written under his name, Mel actually rewrote the whole movie. Hmm. And um, it was just wonderful. It was about a great icon. Um, it was based on the great icon of Sid Caesar mm. and the Sid Caesar show. Okay. And my favorite line in that movie was by Peter O'Toole who said, I'm not an actor, I'm a movie star. Oh. Okay. Cole says that to me a lot. Yeah, I say that. And now I know where it's you're from. You're not a star, you're, you're not an actor, you're a movie star? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, awesome. He says awesome. that at the weirdest times, too. I'll be like, hey, do you want to have lunch? And and then he'll say that. And yeah. I'm just like, okay. It's very well, strange. Well, can you have lunch? I don't even know what's open and closed anymore. Well, I'll have lunch at home. Oh. Yeah. Do you have peanut butter and jelly? I do. He does. Awesome. Do you like <laughs> crunchy or smooth? I like crunchy. I like crunchy. Me too. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, team Here's crunchy. the crunchy crowd. The crunchy <laughs> crowd. The crunchy crowd. <laughs> so how are you guys doing under COVID? We like it. We love it. We love it. We get to spend time together, just him and I, yeah. doing our show. And if hundreds of thousands of people need to die for that to happen, it's worth it. It's worth it. It is. <laughs> and you guys aren't six feet apart. No, we no. like we live together. That's cool. Yeah. How have you been surviving the whole recent upheaval? Well, to tell you the truth, at first I ignored it. Okay. <laughs> like everybody. Okay. I just went about my business. And honestly, at the beginning, I loved it because huh. there was no traffic. <laughs> you were just zipping Gas around. Was cheap. <laughs> <laughs> there were no problems, okay? okay? And then when I saw you had to start wearing a mask, that kind of did it. I, I, I don't do well with a mask. I get like. I, I, like I hyperventilate and I can't breathe. Then I uh-huh. come home with a headache and a sore throat. Then I'm like totally crazed because I think I have COVID. Yeah, you know? I mean, those all sound like and- COVID symptoms. <laughs> I was going to say, you know what else will make you hyperventilate? <laughs> you know, it's like, oh my God, now what? You know, I have asthma and so it's really hard to breathe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then if you wear glasses, your glasses always fog up with the mask. Yeah, yeah it's true. I, I, the, I, the trick I've learned is to put the mask a little oh. under your glasses. If you put it under your glasses and your glasses rest on top of the mask, then they don't fog up. But then you can't see. You're kind of like, oh, uh, where am I? Just right below <laughs> your eyes. You know, I bet you could take that boa around your neck and kind of just turn that into a mask, you know? Yeah. You, oh, I know. You know? <laughs> yeah, you can just, yeah, there yeah. you go. For, that's the li- for the listener, she's wearing a big, fluffy, feathered pink boa. Yeah, that works. That's a mask right there. <laughs> There you go. Do you know that I went to a gas station once? He goes, I can't take your money. And I go, why? He goes, you don't have a mask on. I go, I just want gas. So I pulled my T-shirt up like this. Yeah. And he wouldn't take my money. So I went to another gas station and it was cheaper. Oh. So I never went back to that gas station again. So are you you against the masks? Well, okay. (laughs) I'm against it for me because I can't breathe. Sure, 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 sure. (laughs) I understand. So that's that's a given right there. Sure. 
I have issues with the math. I'll tell you why. Yeah. The whole idea is the only way to fight something is to build up an immunity mm, to it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And if you're wearing a mask and you're like quarantining, you're not building up an immunity. Right. But is this the type of thing that you can build an immunity for? I feel like you either get it or you don't. Well, um, they claim the reason it got worse, I mean, from all the different sides. Sure, sure, sure. I'll listen to all sides. They claim the reason people um, were getting it was because they were quarantining, so their immune system was low, mm. and then they went to the bars. I think it was actually the alcohol that did it. The mm. alcohol said... You didn't come see me for a while. I'll show you. The alcohol said that? <laughs> that, that. Hey, it's as good a theory as anyone that's <laughs> hey, out there. I'll take it. I'll take it, Elaine. Okay, so we asked you to um, prepare a, a kind of something to talk about, like something you're passionate about. It's very political. That's okay. So okay. I hope that's okay. Whatever you need to say, it's fine. Let me quickly introduce you. I think it'll be okay. it'll kind of make it a little more. Do you want to do it, Cole? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, now let's cut to our correspondent. She covers the city of Santa Clarita and the government there. We're really excited to see, hear what she has to say about what's going on in the city these days. Give it up for Elaine. Yes. Well, I wanted to tell you what is going on here and what my personal beef is. So I went to the mayor himself in Santa Clarita. Mm hmm as you know, many corporate America stores, and I'll name names, um, Kroger, which is Ralph's or Food for Less, um, but definitely Ralph's, Target and Walmart, for sure. These stores are no longer taking cash. If you don't have the amount that's perfect, you can pay cash, but they will not give you change. Hmm. And they claim it's, quote, COVID or they claim there is a coin shortage, but we know there is no coin shortage, mm -hmm. okay? Maybe in our pockets, but not <laughs> theirs. So anyway, I am complaining because if they give you credit on your, like say your Ralph's card, for example, and you, cause you paid cash and you are supposed to get change, they either A, keep the change on your card, which means they're now acting as your bank, Mm -hmm. or they put it into their charity of their choice, in which case they get the tax write-off. Mm -hmm. And that is totally not right. So when I first called the city, they told me that I had to call either the county supervisor, which in this case is Catherine Barger, or I'd have to call Governor Newsom. Mm -hmm. Well, I've tried calling Governor Newsom's office on other issues, and they there's not even a line like, if you call the White House, you can leave a message. I do it every you know, day. And they listen. Yep. But with Newsom, forget it. It's mm. like calling unemployment or somewhere, and they just hang up on you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Catherine Barger's office says, oh, yes, we'll take it down, but it means nothing. So then today I got the aha syndrome of we are supposed to be, according to the Gettysburg Address, a government of the people, by the people, for the people, correct? Mm -hmm. So I figured with all that is going on right now, this should be a government of the people, by the people, for the people, for all the people. And starting at the local level, the governments need to protect their people, mm -hmm. their residents. So what they need to do is they need to call the next level as a body, a government body of their people, for their people, by their people. Against Walmart. And keep taking it to the next level until somebody gets to corporate America. Because I feel this whole thing, if by using credit cards, is just going to, A, cause more credit card debt, cause more people to have to go into bankruptcy. And three, once you're in bankruptcy, you don't have a credit card. So what are you going to do? Not be able to eat? Mm. Yeah. Okay. So bring back the coins. Bring back the coins. Okay. Great. Great. Thank you, Elaine. That was that was great. That was insightful. I learned a lot. Yeah, I didn't know any of that. I didn't know that uh, you couldn't use exact change at these places. Is that state? No, exact change they will take. Or sorry, you couldn't, you couldn't you use non-exact change. I'm sorry. 
Right. So do they round it up at any point? Well, okay. Say your bill is $8.92. Yes. We'll just hypothetically yeah. say that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You give them a 10. They will not, they'll give you a dollar. Okay. They'll give you a dollar. But they will keep the change. Okay. They'll so there's the just, cents. it's just pennies you're talking here. Well, or no. Or it could be it more. Could it could be, be 99 cents. Exactly. If it's 99 cents, they might give you the dollar. You oh, really? You have to really? argue that point. Have you argued that? Well, I didn't have it. it I, they only owed me six cents, and I argued that. <laughs> what, what happened? I didn't get it. And the guy behind me was getting mad, and the line was getting longer, and they were getting really angry. Where was this? And, and so finally, the guy, I think someone offered to give me six cents, you know, just to get me out of there. Was Where, anyone... I go, this is not right. But it, it says, you know, that it's legal and tender. Yeah, so okay. if it's legal and tender, they've got to come up with the money. Where was this? I don't trust them. It could be, it, the charity should be, charity starts at home, right? Mm, where yeah. was it? Yeah, Cole's asking. Ralph's. 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 Okay. okay. Was anyone filming you? Well, maybe the store. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was wondering. And said, don't let her in anymore. Okay. Are or you... Just give her whatever. Round up the dollar. <laughs> <laughs> Are you on a social media at all? Do you see? I am, and I wish everybody would follow me because okay. I don't know how to get followers. Okay. okay. I am on Instagram, and I haven't had a new follower in a hundred years, ever since COVID, Whoa. because I don't go anywhere and say, follow me. Yeah, so I, I do they that can a lot. follow me on Instagram yeah. at Elaine Ballas, okay. E-L-A-I-N-E, yes. B-A-L-L-A-C-E. Okay. Same with Twitter. Okay. And the same on Facebook. What kind of stuff can they s- expect to see there on Instagram? My videos. Okay. <laughs> okay. And all my PR. Okay. <laughs> but, but they did see something that I did have that someone had sent that I reposted. I try not to get too political because everyone's political. Sure. But the, the coin shortage thing I think is for everybody. I've never sure. heard of this. <laughs> yeah. Neither have I. Really? Really. Are you guys getting out of your house much? No. <laughs> no, not really, honestly. But when I do, I just, I've used my card. I haven't used cash, I guess. Yeah, same. Oh, see, that's what they want. They want you to use your card. But see, the reason I don't like cards, again, going back to the conspiracy theories. Yes. Um, It's bad enough with the IBM number, you know, the barcode. Mm-hmm. Sure. So they know exactly what you bought. Then when you use your card, which is what they want, they know who bought what. And then they can trace you. Who's they? So, the bank or the government? Government. Okay. Okay. And um, that way you can be easily traced. Unless you're buying contraband or, or something that can make it. Like the government put a stop to buying Zyrtec D because they say you can make crystal meth out of it. I, and I just got to so say, like, you, can't. you can't. I've tried many yeah. times. It's very difficult. Really? Very yeah. difficult. Well, I mean, I had to get a prescription <laughs> yeah. because for meth I or... have to take Zyrtec D oh, for okay. my allergies. Yeah. And, yeah, it's, and so I had to get a prescription because they said, oh, no, you know, you bought enough for the year. And I go, well, then what am I supposed to do? Mm-hmm. And so they said I had to get a prescription. So mm. um, apparently Sudafed or anything like that, I wouldn't know how to make anything. I'm just learning how to cook now because of COVID. Cook math so or, or like food? I was forced food? to learn how to cook. Got it. Uh, okay. Got it. I get it. We're uh, cooking do you, up. Do you live at home or do you live with someone else? I do live with someone else. And if you hold on a minute, I'll see if I can go get him. Is it your husband? Wait, I'll show you. <laughs> okay. Oreo. Oreo. Oh, it's Oreo. a cat or dog. Unless her husband's name is Oreo, which I would yeah. be into, I got to say. Elaine's awesome. I love Elaine. <laughs> I love, see, I told you Elaine's the best. <laughs> Just in the emails with Elaine is this energy. with my master. <laughs> oh. Oh. Hey Oreo! Hey Oreo! He's cute. Who loves you, Oreo? I think Elaine does. Absolutely. I gotta show you my master. This is my master. Oh my goodness! Look, Oreo. That was your master. (laughs) A dog. A dog. Awesome, Elaine. What's your dog's name? His name is Bluetooth. Bluetooth. Oh, that's so funny. I love that. Name. You were such a delight to talk to, Elaine. We'll be in touch, and we really appreciate you being here. Yeah. Well, thank you for finally <laughs> yeah, making it happen. I know, I know. We, we wanted to get you, and then the pandemic happened, but we're happy to have you here today. Well, I am, I am good to go. 
Okay, mask great. Mask or no mask. Okay, we'll great. decide. We'll, we'll decide. Yeah, we'll let you choose. And tell all your all your friends and followers to follow me. We, we will. Okay. We will do that. Thank you, Elaine. I'll do it too. Okay, bye-bye. Okay. Elaine's the best. I've been emailing her a long time. Well, before we go to our next audition, Andrew, should we thank our sponsor? Cool. That's an incredible idea. And for once, I do see that you're actually quite a smart and thoughtful guy. Oh. That, I didn't used I, to think that. I didn't know you didn't used to think that. You didn't have to tell me that. Well, I think it's good. I think when someone is the... Hey, stop it, dog. Hey, dog. My name is Cole. No, it's my dog. Oh. I think when someone is um, an MVP... That's pretty good. But when someone is the most improved player, that's huh. pretty nice. Okay. Well, who is our sponsor? Well, funny you should ask, Cole. I have some questions for you to answer your question. Do you okay. experience stress or yeah. have anxiety yeah. or yeah. chronic pain yes. or yes. have trouble sleeping yes. at least once a week? Yes. You're not alone. Thank God. Many of us have those problems. Personally. You? Yes. I have trouble sleeping. Um, sometimes I have, you know, like joint pain from, um, you know, from all the sports that I do. All right. Yeah. That and, hurt? Uh, yeah, that hurt a lot, actually. Okay. And one thing that I've discovered that helps me personally is Feels. Mm. F-E-A-L-S. Feels is a premium CBD company that is delivered directly to your doorstep. My doorstep? Yeah, or any doorstep that you give in. You could actually put someone else's doorstep <laughs> and they probably deliver it there. All right. Feels naturally helps reduce stress, anxiety, and sleep sleeplessness. I take a few drops of Feels under my tongue every night before I go to bed. It helps me fall asleep almost immediately. And I appreciate having feels in my life. It's easy to take. Like How I do you said, take it? A few drops under your tongue. Okay. You, If you are new to CBD or you're not sure how CBD could help in your life, Feels has a hotline that you can call. And they will tell you all the info you need to know. You call the hotline every night, Cole. You know, I used to be new to CBD, but now I'm old. But don't you just like talking to I this? just like calling the hotline, yeah. making sure I'm doing everything right. They walk me through step by step. Okay. I bet at this point they're kind of like, don't you have it down? I need I need that reassurance. Okay. That is cool. I'm very codependent. Because you cool. don't answer my calls about mm, it. No, I certainly don't. Um, feels is a way to, way to feel better naturally to help you feel better. There's no high hangover or addiction. It is CBD. It is not THC. It is a different thing. And um, yeah, now is a very anxious time in the world. I think a little bit of CBD to kind of take the edge off to CB feel what? CBD the product. Oh, okay. To kind of you <laughs> said it weird. Really? Yeah. You okay. like stumbled or something. Well, it's because I haven't taken my feels today, so my okay. brain ain't working. Ah. Uh. But yeah, it's a good thing to have in the world right now. Um, it's a membership, so you join the Feels community and you get Feels delivered directly to your door every month. You can save money on every order or you can pause or cancel at any time to fit your schedule. Hmm. Feels has me feel my best every day and it can help you too. Become a member today by going to feels.com slash outside. That's F-E-A-L-S dot com slash outside. And you'll get 50% off your first order with free shipping. Five zero? Yeah, that's almost 3,000% off. Oh, almost. That's pretty good. So F-E-A-L-S dot com slash outside outside to become a member and get 50% automatically taken off your first order with free shipping. Feels.com slash outside. Thank you, Feels. Thank you to whoever created the whole dot com thing. And thank you to the outside. Huh. Okay. All right. Let's Back see what's up auditions? with these Craigslist people. Back to the auditions. Who's next? Up next, we have Erin. She is a vibrant, bubbly, and as many tell her, inspiring. She has been a D1 college softball analyst on ESPN+, Plus, as well as a lifestyle host, sports, and esports host. She says she scrolls Twitter throughout the day and has her finger on the pulse to all the trending topics as they happen. Whoa. It's a lot to live up to, Erin. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. Great. Like How are you guys doing? We're great. What side of town are you on? Because it's so much sunnier where you are than where I am right now. Yeah, we're on the east side, like in Los Feliz area. Lucky, lucky. I'm down in Santa Monica, and it's very gloomy and gray. Mm. Yeah. Well, that's the premium. That's what you pay for. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's very true. It's so funny that, like, I had sent all that stuff to you guys about, like, oh, have the finger on my pulse for Twitter, <laughs> and I did all of these things, and then I'm thinking, I'm like, did I scroll Twitter today? Oh, yeah, I definitely did. I've, like, been obsessed with TikTok because oh. I somehow ended up on, like, Hamilton TikTok. Mm. So I've just been seeing all of these people use the sounds from... The the Disney Plus version, and I'm just, my mom said it was like a syndrome, and I honestly couldn't agree more. It's sickening. I'm just obsessed with that this past few days. <laughs> yeah. TikTok has some interesting genres. Have you, have you, have you stumbled upon which TikTok? 
You know what? I've gotten like a couple of witch TikToks. Uh-huh. And they usually it's like people that are talking about like their crystals and things like that. But my one a friend of mine had given me like two witch books, and I'm like, what are you trying to tell me? Like, <laughs> do you <laughs> think am I doing potions? He's like, I don't know. You just seem like the type. I'm like, I I might check it out. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Then, of oh, wow. oh wow. Okay. Wow. Are you a, are you a TikTok creator? Is that how you got that I mug? I am a TikTok creator. Oh, what kind of TikToks do you make? Well, once upon a time, I was a Musically creator, Ooh. and I had a bunch of kids that are were part of my nonprofit who would do like these really cool dances. They were like so so talented, and Man, I didn't the, know the kids, that the kids that are on turned my... into TikTok. Yeah. But a friend of mine was like, "Hey, like, did you know you have this thing called TikTok?" I'm like, "No, I don't." He's like, "Your account's verified," and you have like a lot of followers i'm like what and i guess it was connected to my facebook (laughs) and so i started learning how to make tiktoks and usually they're funny sometimes they're sporty but it just kind of depends on my mood do you have you made money off tiktok so i i i I feel like when i used it with music before it was like these really intense rap songs and my followers were not into that like they're more girly Mm. so to listen to music like that they were like what is this so it didn't work out too well what's your nonprofit? it's called club 42 Mm -hmm. and it's basically for blending kids of different communities so Mm. we were kind of doing social justice before everyone thought it was important for white people to hang out with kids that were from like disadvantaged areas right, right, um, right. but we were doing that back in 2014 sure we renovated a baseball field out in inglewood mm. we were able to give kids tuition awards to some of the top private schools in la cool. like campbell hall and sierra canyon and really help support young middle school aged athletes so that they could be on the pathway to success for high school and college oh cool and bringing a lot of different types yeah. of people together huh usually it's families from more of like the wealthier communities that'll sponsor like a sports team right. or their sponsor esports programs and then we basically blend those with kids so basically like the rich kids get to mm-hmm. have friends from different areas and the kids that aren't you know as wealthy or with parents that are as well networked they get to meet those friends as well so it's kind of like uh we call it we used to call it like a blindside buddy system right so it's, and kind, it's yeah, kind of it, like it a was, it's honestly it's been so rewarding Right. Uh, when we first went into Inglewood, they didn't have a little league program. Mm. And after five years, they will have their first little league season. It would have been this season right. um, for the first time in over a decade. Wow. Yeah. So, so the whole organization yeah. is kind of like an anti-social distancing initiative in a way, huh? <laughs> Trying to kind of yeah, get people right? closer together. <laughs> We'd always say, like, it's a win for us if the kids are having, like, a pizza party. Like, that yeah, actually yeah. means more because that means they actually are friends. How do you reach out to these rich kids you're talking about? Like, uh, how do you reach out to them to be part of the community? I'm just curious. There, you know what? We had some really great donors right from the get-go. Mm. And it was actually a donor from a, the Beverly Hills area who had a son that was playing baseball. Mm. And one of his buddies, my one of the co-founders, he's like, I can help your kid be on a baseball team. But to be honest, it's not going to do him very well if he's playing this like homogenized sport. Sure, sure. And so the family of the original donor is actually was teammates with Jackie Robinson, this guy, Ralph Franca. Mm. So Ralph Franca was a pitcher for the Dodgers, teammates with Jackie, and they were lifelong friends. And so his nephew ended up giving us our first endowment and was really a big champion of having these kids come together from different communities because Mm. he knew that that's what his uncle did. It was like his family's legacy to do something like that. Mm. And so that kind of kickstarted it and we've been taking it and running with it since. Well, congratulations on that. So we asked you to prepare a little bit of a kind of a correspondent piece on something you're passionate about. Did you have something in mind? So I, in theme of baseball, because I'm a huge baseball fan, obviously you mentioned that I was a softball player. Can we, can we introduce I, it? We kind of want to introduce it as if we're kind of like cutting to you. Perfect. Cole, take it away. Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, speaking... Hey, guys. So, well, hey well, guys, let me introduce you. Hold on. I'm like, Cole, introduce, sorry. He's going to introduce you. I'll introduce. Yeah. Okay. Speaking of Grand Slams, we, yep. we have a, a, a home run correspondent out in the field there's a lot of stuff happening with baseball these days and we just decided you can't be a show on the internet and not have a baseball correspondent so we've got aaron to tell us what's going on on the pitcher's mound hey guys thanks andrew thanks cole you're welcome i am on my porch 
talking about podcast outside. We're doing podcasts on the porch and hello everyone. What I'm so excited about today is that basically we're going to call this the three strikes out, right? So mm. I'm going to give you three striking thoughts and then I'm out of there. First Whoa. striking thought, I found out today on Twitter that the New York Yankees may have been cheating back in 2018 and I'm just kind of over all of the baseball cheating. It's really lame and they're not even doing it like in the old school way of like seeing what the catcher is doing with signs. It's like cameras and things. Mm-hmm. I'm out like over it. Mm-hmm. Number two, Britney Spears. Like, let's leave Britney alone. Take it back to the Chris Crocker days. I know everyone's been fired up online about the free Britney movement and how important it is. As someone who's been to four Britney Spears concerts, don't judge me. I just feel like, you know what? The conservatorship should end, absolutely. But at the same time, like, let's leave Britney alone. Longtime fans like myself know that she's been posting weird Instagrams for a very long time. It's just who she is. She's happy, she's free. No more free Britney. Let's let her live. Let's let it die. Number Whoa. three. Okay, so the third thing I'm talking about is that I am obsessed with Zendaya and the Emmy nomination that she just got. And I think that she deserves it. So I know that Cole was Rue, but I think that <laughs> Zendaya should win for Rue for Euphoria. I mean, what a knockout. She's gorgeous. She's beautiful. But also, I don't know if you've seen that show, but she kills it. So Whoa. those are my three things. I'm out of there. See you guys next time. Wow. I also heard Zendaya was Michi. Is that true? She's what? Michi? Is she? Yeah, I heard that. Yeah, she was Michi. She was Michi, I heard, yeah. Yeah. Gosh, <laughs> I love that. Wow. Well, I admire you for doing your homework with all that. Literally, when I have a split second of time, I'm like, what is going on in the world? Like, I just feel like I need to know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, get <laughs> so I get it. You got your finger on the pulse. It's true. On the pulse. It's true. <laughs> Well, Aaron, thank you so much for taking some time to talk with us. It was so lovely. Yeah, it was so great to meet you guys and to chat. Thanks for having me on. Yes, of it course. Was so much fun. Yeah, we'll be in touch. Thank you so much. I mean, she's great. She's great. She's clearly the most qualified person <laughs> for the job. Why is she on Craigslist? I know. She should be, like, very successful. She's awesome. Maybe we have two. Maybe we have two. She was great. I just straight up really liked her. Yeah. She was awesome. I really liked her energy. Up next, we have Lori. She auditioned to play my ex-girlfriend in episode 10 of our show. Hi, Andrew. What? So crazy to run into you here. You look great. I've been very sad. And she's acted in some very great and interesting YouTube videos, and we're excited to have her on. Everybody give it up for Lori. Woo! Hi! How are you, Lori? Hi. Awesome. Cool. How are you guys doing? Good. We're great. It's, it's, the it's, internet's it's a little... What's you guys these <laughs> days? Hold on. Our, our, it's a little bit laggy. I don't know if it's our internet or yours. Is that better? <laughs> I mean, it's, better? it's a little... <laughs> it's a little disconcerting. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little unsettling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sounds good. That's a good test. That's better. You got that one. Yeah, that okay. worked out. So, how's life? How are you? Ah, uh, well, consider this is 2020. <laughs> hey, did you hear we named it? We need to change 5150 to 2020. <laughs> 50. <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> sounds like a good change. Yeah. Where are you right now? I am actually out on my patio in North Hollywood in my apartment. Oh, okay. Who do you, do you live alone? No, I have a daughter that's holding the. Uh, I thought so. Oh, I, yeah, I know. Filming right filming you. I thought so because I have a little doggy right there. I saw the dog, and I think your daughter helped out last time uh, we did something with you. So I figured she might be holding the phone. Correct. Yeah, it's a weird, it's a weird time in the world, you know. But at least we're connecting in this way. That's right. So how how you been since the last time we talked? When was that? A year ago. A year ago. It's been a year. Yeah. Wow, and what a year, huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Anything positive been happening for you? Well, a lot of family time. That's a, the good thing. That's good. Uh, cooking a lot, doing a lot of social media stuff. Yeah, you can't socialize. you got a social doing media. Doing a lot of driving. You could go doing a lot of driving, you know? Yeah, yeah. where have you been driving? Social distance and drive. You're cutting that distance down. Where are you driving to? You name it. <laughs> we can drive to the beach. We can drive to the mountains. Okay. You know, go see Wrecked LA. Yeah. What's that? 
Well, LA is pretty wrecked right wrecked. now. Oh, go see yeah, wrecked, wrecked LA. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I yeah, thought yeah. maybe it was an art exhibit or something. Yeah, what? <laughs> yeah, might as well be. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of stuff you doing on social media? Well, just keeping contact with friends, and you know, um, I was able to do like a little uh, filming of a video, which was kind of fun. Nice. We did that on by Hancock Park. You know. Nice. Cool. Um, there's still a lot of things that are good, you know? Yeah, you got your daughter with you. That's nice. Yeah, she's right here. How old's your daughter? Say hi, Vanessa. Turn around and look. Okay, she <laughs> says hi. <laughs> what, are the, what are the best and worst qualities of Vanessa? <laughs> she doesn't have any worst qualities. <laughs> okay. Maybe, yeah. being, maybe being shy. You passed the test. You passed the test. You passed the mom <laughs> test. <laughs> okay, well, Lori, um, we asked you if possible... Could you give like a little kind of presentation on something that you're passionate about? Is that something you could talk about? Well, honestly, because I'm 26, I'm, September 26, I'll be 26 years clean and sober. Oh, okay. Yay. yeah. Okay. All right. So, so we're, we're going to introduce you. Off, I'm, pa- I'm passionate uh, for Jesus because he's the one that got me this way. But I'm very passionate about AA and about being a service okay. and helping people. And then I just absolutely love acting and singing. Okay. And, I'm going introdu- um, to introduce you as if you're our correspondent. Sure. It'll be easy, I promise. Okay. Wow, I haven't... Um, I'm excited easy to see what... Easy does it. Yeah, it'll be easy <laughs> does it. Cole, you're, you're pretty sober right now, right? Yeah, yeah. I've been sober for a while. You've been sober for a while. I've been sober as well. Um, and, you know, it's interesting just listening to the experience of people who have found sobriety and the way that sobriety has changed their life. Religion also changes people's lives. Mm-hmm. And today we're going to hear from our correspondent on Jesus and sobriety, and we're going to take it away to Lori. You know, uh, many, many years I was, you know, hooked on drugs and was an alcoholic you know, and had to go through all kinds of things, you Mm -hmm. know, molestations, rapings, beatings, kidnappings, Mm. been comas, heart attacks. I even got pronounced dead, you know, three different times. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. And thank you, God. I didn't know he existed, Mm. but I asked Jesus if he was real to either take my life or give me a new one. And here I am. I went up on 20 six years of sobriety and I found out that he was always with me Mm. and loves me no matter what. And he loves us all no matter what that through everything that's going on right now, I'm really, really grateful that I have a relationship with Jesus because I don't know if I can get through all this craziness going on and definitely not be able to stay sober. And the good thing about Jesus is is you don't have to be socially distant from him. He can be as close to you as you want. He could be in you. (laughs) <laughs> and he loves us no matter what and simply wants us to love him and love one another. Yeah. How simple is that? It's pretty yeah. simple. Easy peasy, as you said. Easy does it. Mm-hmm. Oh, easy does it. Sorry. He said easy yeah. does it. Easy does it. And you know, there's no mistake that there's 12 steps and 12 disciples. Ah. Uh, right. Ah. And uh. that we were once 12 years old. Uh huh. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And twelve That's plus about twelve what time is. Tw- I think I started. By the way, how old were you when you had your daughter? Uh, twenty. Oh, wow! Okay. Wow! Cool. Wow. Oh, let's talk about how you almost died three times. If you're comfortable talking about that, because I'm so curious. Oh sure. Well, one of the times was I used to back in the days when you could pass out and sleep on the beach without getting arrested. Uh, We were drinking and partying all night on the beach, and I passed out on the beach. My friends woke me up in the morning, and they called me chicken and dared me to go in the ocean. You know, and uh, I knew I was too wasted and hungover to deal with that ocean. By the way, if somebody doesn't believe in God, you got the power to stop a wave, I will bow down to you. (laughs) Because that was the power that kicked my you-know-what. Wow. Okay, so I drowned in the ocean. The white light shined across me, and a 10-year-old boy saw my feet standing up out of the ocean. The rest of my body was underneath drowning, and he dragged me in. And see, the sun shined across my feet and caused the white light. And that was the S-U-N, but I know the S-O-N Ooh. caused the light to shine. Okay. okay. I got that one. And so... 
the other ones, the alcohol turned me diabetic. I shot out my pancreas because alcohol turns to sugar. Mm. And you can't drink and do drugs when you're diabetic or have any disease. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. It'll just make it rest like crazy. Mm. Okay. So a couple of the comas that I was going in and I was white lining, those were the times. And um, nobody can tell me that there isn't a God because I've seen him. Hmm. Wow. Nobody can tell me there isn't a heaven or a hell because I've seen them both. You were, you were going to go to hell? Satan, oh, yeah. Oh, I've seen hell. Really? Yeah. What was that like? Satan's, great, Satan's greatest weapon is that people don't believe in him. Mm. Uh, and, you know, there's no exits out of hell. Mm. Okay. You know? And these are signs of the times. This is like wake up time. Mm, mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. you know, book of revelation time. Well, but you think you know, that what's the next big event you guys think the rapture? Oh, you, know, you think we got a few more things to come before then? Yeah, I think we got a few more. You know, we got a couple. Okay. We got a couple tricks. Devil's got a couple more tricks up his sleeve. Yeah, exactly. I mean, for one, Spectrum's been out all day. Spectrum's been out all day, which is so. oh man, that yeah, yeah, yeah. it might be one internet, of them. Internet has been like. You know, that makes sense because the different apps and things like that, maps and things like that. Yeah, too many apps. Out. I yeah. think the devil made you a lot of those. rock the world? Who wants have to have a satellite zap the internet. Oh, that's how you want to rock the world? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Hmm. Wow. Okay. Well, well, we're very glad that you're alive yeah. to, to tell your tales. This yeah. is very interesting. Yeah, and don't forget about AA for those of you, you know, because... Uh, I happen to know that now there's so many people quarantined and yes. they're being bored out of their minds. Yeah. That alcohol and weed sales are skyrocketing. Yeah. So, you know, if this ever ends and they open a meetings back up, mm -hmm. uh, they're going to be so filled. We're going to need the Dodger stadiums. Mm. So just so you guys know that Jesus and the 12 step rooms uh, help. You know, mm -hmm. and if any of you are hurting, because I know the suicide reg rates and the depression rates and everything like that are going up as yeah. well. Yeah, it's don't a tough be time. afraid to reach out mm. and talk to people. Have you, you done? Know? Have you and done any AA meetings digitally, like like on Zoom or anything? Have you done anything like that? Actually, what I do because I have a very very big apartment mm -hmm. is and it's fifteen hundred to two thousand square foot. Mm, they'll never so know. So a couple total. times. Times a week, if not more. This time I've already done three of them. We've all been negative. Okay, um, got it. But I do whatever totally. it takes. I got hand sanitizers all over the place, spray okay. all over the place. You know, cool. But we'll get through this. We'll get we through will. this. And then we'll get through this. And then maybe we'll meet in person one day and have you on our show in person. I would love it. Okay, Lori. So thanks we. for taking the time. And we could do we could do it in person, but just six six feet six feet apart. Yeah, okay, yeah, we'll talk yeah. we'll talk to you about that. <laughs> yeah, we, I'd be down for that. Yeah, I'd be down we for could that. do it. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe even five, you know? Yeah. That that could work. Yeah, well, I'm <laughs> negative, so, okay. you know, yeah. you guys are cool with me. And you know what I they would say, love to. You know what they say, once negative, always negative. One yeah. test. Exactly. That's all but you need. <laughs> at this point, <laughs> That's all you need. this is the one time when negative is a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, rock on. Rock on, Lori. All right, rock take on. care. We'll talk soon. We'll talk okay. to you soon. Bye-bye. Thanks, okay, Lori. Okay, bye-bye. I love her. I mean, how many correspondents are we going to have? Everyone's so I good. I want to hire everyone. I want to hire everyone. <laughs> everyone's been so awesome. I know. We should just have them all. We should cut to the correspondents and they're all there at once just talking over each other. <laughs> Oh my God, Lori! And this final one is just going to be a delight because he was on our live show and he's just such a treat. Oh, there we go. There okay. he is. Okay, we can't hear you yet. We can't hear you. So you all know how Sunit sounds. Looks. Sorry, you all know how Sunit looks. I'm just going to call him and we'll just do a phone call. That'll be the solution to this. He's a great guy. We'll put his picture up. Answer the phone. Oh yes. Hi, Sunit. How are you? Oh, very good. Excellent. Okay. Uh, I could hear your voice. That's why it's uh, not able to uh, respond anything on that. I could see you, but I can't hear your voice. Oh, oh you same with us. us. We can see you, but we can't hear you. It's okay. Yeah. We'll just we'll just do a phone call and we'll just put keep up this picture of you. Yeah. Oh yeah, sure. that will do. That will do. That works. Yes. Okay. How, you can. You can. Yeah. How are you? 
Excellent. I'm excellent. Yes, please. Okay. okay. Good. How you been since we saw you in January? Any... Oh, yeah. Pretty, oh my pretty good. In fact, actually, only the COVID-19 problem and then uh, the death of that guy, the David, I believe, probably in Minneapolis, was little issues in the country. Oh, yes, uh, yes. George, George Floyd. Floyd. George Floyd, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. been an intense time. Are you, you and your family are healthy and safe, though? Oh, excellent, excellent. Everybody's in a good shape, and then, in fact, I own a home in Michigan also. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. You, you own a lot of homes, right? Uh, they're excellent. In fact, actually, I was interested to buy something in Europe also, but uh, hopefully the COVID-19 goes away, and then I'm able to get something cheaper there. And, you, uh, and you you've know. never, we talked to you about this at our live show, but you've never seen these homes in person, correct? Yes. Yeah. But, but they exist. Yes, yes. yes. Okay. Uh, you know, I, I have seen my dad's home in India. But he's normal now, so... Oh, he's normal now? I'm not visited for the last five years, so I'll be going this year, but waiting for the, uh, you know, the time to get better, like, uh, yeah. once the COVID-19 goes okay, and then people are in a good health, good shape, and the flights are going good, then I definitely will have to visit the mm. place in India. So you bought your dad a home in India? No, my dad had a home. My dad built a home, three and a half floor building. And he passed away in 2015 on the last day of the 31st of December 2009, 2015. Oh, I'm wow. sorry. And I'm sorry to hear that. I, I visited, yeah, I visited that for a month there after his death because uh, the funeral was over and then I reached after three days and uh, I stayed in that house for that three and a half floor building and it's locked. It's locked. I have to go there and then clean up and then stay for a month for a holiday and then come back. Mm. It's a long journey. It's a long journey there, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Are your homes in Michigan, are, you, are they rented out? No, it's very big. It's in, uh, one of the ones is in the township of the, you know, and then that's like 38,000 square feet. I'll be going, I see a letter from the county to go and clean up the grass and all this stuff. And I was looking for some lawn mover and things like that. But wait, have you, are, are you going to rent them or you just own them for yourself? No, I'll own them for myself, for my family to, uh, maybe I'll be doing the film production or, uh, you know, I'll be probably into... Uh, doing some car business, you know, a lot of, uh, because that's a big car market and then General Motors was there for a while back and uh, like, uh, you know, there are a lot of those accidental cars which are cheaper and in auction of them and then fix them up and maybe sell in Bollywood in Mumbai. <laughs> that's what my plans are. A lot of these films start in Bollywood love to buy those because they, they like the American cars and the Japanese cars and it's a big market. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Yes. Great. You, Plus my, 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 my film thing, I'm an actor too, so I love to do some films in Bollywood and Hollywood, so I'm just trying for that also. Yeah. What's, what's better, Hollywood or Bollywood? Um, no, Hollywood was very good, but recently in Bollywood, one of the actors passed away by murder. His name is uh, Sushant Singh Rajput. So this is a big issue in India, which is going on. Whole Bollywood is closed and a lot of these big... Uh, uh, big directors and the big production houses are involved in that because they nepotism. They say they were not giving chance to the outsider. This guy was doing really good in the films, and then suddenly they took out from the films all of them. And one of his girlfriend ran away with his money, fifteen crore rupees. So there's a big thing going on in India for regarding that issue. Whoa. But things will be fine. Yes, yes. <laughs> I love I love that phrase. Passed away by murder. <laughs> Yes, yes. So they said it's a committed suicide. But later on, when people came to know it's not a committed suicide, his girlfriend duped him and then some other big shots in uh, Bollywood, he had some issues, uh, maybe due to that. I wow. wow. I, didn't, I didn't know any about anything about that. That's interesting. Oh, yeah, if you check up the YouTube, there are thousands of videos every day coming up. Every day, there are 20, 30, 40 videos. Look at the murder of Sushant Singh Rajput, uh, the actor. Did yes, he say yes. nepotism? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes, yes. Too much of nepotism because the the kids killed, uh, the, uh, the kids of the film actors yes. of previous generation to get uh, too much of work, and uh, the outsiders don't get a chance. So a lot of nepotism going on in the Bollywood industry. Interesting. And, uh, yes, yes. And also, I worked at the backstage in the Golden Globe Awards, Oscars, and Grammys this year in February. Mm. Oh. Yes, after your meeting you, I had worked this year in, and I met all these big, big time actors in Hollywood. I met uh, Leo DiCaprio, I met I uh, yeah. uh, Wesley Snipes, I met uh, Pierce Brownson, the James Bond, I met uh, uh, Chris Evans, and I saw Sandra Bullock and Nicole Kidman. Oh, wow. did, you, did you talk to any of them? Yes, I, I took hands, I talked to Pierce Brownson, the James Bond, 
uh, he was at the backstage. He was talk. He talked to me some words, and then uh, I shook hands with uh, Leo DiCaprio. I said, "I loved your movie Titanic," and uh, it was uh, he oh, yes, smiled. About Titanic. <laughs> yes, and then I talked to Eddie Murphy, and I said, "Hey, Eddie, I was a small boy in India, and you tell me, and then I love seeing your Beverly Hill Cop," and he started. Laughing, and he showed to his wife. Well, look, look, he likes me. He likes me. <laughs> oh, wow. okay, that's that's, that's great, Jimmy. That, that was interesting on the red carpet. <laughs> that's great. Yeah. Is he spending a lot of time inside these days? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. In fact, yes. Uh, no, I've been traveling out. I've been working for different places and different things. I do. What have you been and working? I love for? to buy some properties, but it's uh, all standstill. But I believe it's a good time to buy because a lot of people will be moving home and then uh, we'll have you know cheaper properties available in the market. I believe all over the world. So how many how many homes do you want? How many is enough? Oh, I love to have two homes in Europe. I love to have one home in Brazil. I love to have a home in uh, Canada or uh, in UK too. I'll be interested. So let's see how. <laughs> Your whole job will just be traveling around, upkeeping these homes. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah that's a very hard job, and then paying <laughs> up property tax and all this. All money goes back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you come back to the zero city. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I hope you get those rented soon. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I mean it's it's a part of life, you know. We all try the things. Everybody has a taste. Everybody has a hobby. Everybody has something going on in their life where they are happy. Wanted to do something, or they have some aims in life or ambitions. Great. So many people are dragging on to that thing, and then uh, when you work on something, you get it. You know, where there's will, there is a way. Right. So yes. Right. Right. Sure. Well, you look great in your suit. I appreciate you dressing up for this. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I love to wear suits. I usually been uh, working as executive, and uh, I was uh, entrepreneur a while back in India. Yeah. So, mm. Mm. Do you wear suits every day? Yes, I try to. Yes, so to make money to uh, you know pay all my bills, it's very hard. But uh, life is like that. You have to struggle every day. Yeah. To do something going on. Well, thank you for catching up with us again. Yeah. We appreciated talking to you. Yeah. Thank you, brother. And then uh, anything else you have in mind, please love to. Yes. Of you. course. Yes, we'll definitely be in touch. Thank you, sir. Thank you, please. All right. Pleasure talking to you. Okay. Pleasure, pleasure talking okay. to you. Okay. Bye, Sunny. Sure. Bye, bye. Thank you. Bye, please. Bye. bye. Love to talk to you. Thank okay. Bye, bye. Good day. Good, Good day. day. Bye-bye. Good day. Bye-bye. Bye. I think this video is going to start up again. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Bye. Bye, Bye, Sunit. Sunit. <laughs> Bye. What's happening? Yeah, we yeah. love Sunit. He's giving us the thumbs up. He's giving us the wave. We'll maybe dance. Maybe you could dance a little bit, Sunit. Maybe can you dance? Yeah, maybe dance a little bit. Yeah, Sunit can <laughs> dance. Maybe. Yeah, we're, dan- we're dancing. We're dancing with Sunit. Yeah, oh, there yeah, he yeah. Is. Let's dance. Yeah. Let's see if he'll dance. <laughs> Thumbs up. Yeah, yeah, he's dancing. We're dancing with Sunni. Yeah, we're all dancing. <laughs> yeah. Wow, well, just like January. It's just like no oh, cares. There, there, the we, go, there, there we go. There we go. He's looking at the mirror. In the he's mirror. dancing in the mirror. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he loves it. This is like a silent Zoom dance party. <laughs> <laughs> this is maybe the funniest thing I've ever seen. Okay, bye, Sunit. Thanks, Sunit. Thank you. Thank you so much. I mean, Sunit is just a ball of light. Everyone was. I d- honestly don't know how we're going to s- choose here. We might need help. Uh, we might need help. So to the listeners, to the watchers, go to our YouTube and just comment on who your favorite is or who you'd like to see in the future. Yeah, we'll also put out an Instagram poll a few days after that, I think. Yeah, we'll do both. And, you know, we don't have to only have one correspondent. We can check in with anyone if we want to in the future. But just let us know who you really want to hear from. And maybe we'll even do some sort of poll later about what sort of topics people we want them to cover. Yeah. It would just be great to be able to cut to these people and take a load off us and just learn a little bit about the world. Through some different eyes. I loved everyone we talked to tonight. Thank you to everyone for chatting with us. Thank you to everyone who emailed us. All right, Cole, you have fun? Should I? Yes. Should I have fun? Yeah, have fun right now. Okay. (laughs) Yeah. That was fun. That was fun? Yeah. All right. Did you your turn? Um, okay. <laughs> How was that? It's pretty good actually. All right. Yeah. Did you enjoy it when I did it? I did, yeah. I liked I liked having fun better. Oh, when right. It was right. Me doing I understand it. that. I understand that. All right. Well, thank you to everyone for watching and listening. Now uh, you have fun. Okay. No, to that. Oh, now you guys have fun. Now guys have fun. Okay. All right. Thank y'all. Bye. Bye-bye. Uh. <laughs> wow.
What a journey. Mm -hmm. So yeah, um, make comments below about who you think should win if you're on YouTube. Check out our social media podcast, but outside um, on Instagram, we're going to do some polls there, maybe even on Twitter. Yeah, maybe so, we'll do the finalist polls there. Yeah, to see who we should hire as a correspondent. After also, reading through your comments. We might hire more than one. I mean, it's tough to choose. There are so many good takes here. Mm -hmm. um, thanks for watching. Again, subscribe to us on YouTube and podcast, but outside on, on Instagram. Or, I don't know. But YouTube, podcast apps, Instagram, it all helps. Again, we're taking next week off. Daytime. Yeah. So that'll be the first week in September. We'll be back that Wednesday. Mm -hmm. And every Wednesday until um, you all die. Yep. And, and, and the rules are you guys have to die before we can die. So hurry up. That's the rule. That's the rule. Bye-bye. I'm not an actor, I'm a movie star!